So starting out with a, a very basic Slayeric slider circuit with no bells and whistles at all. Sorry, you can see the shadow of my uh, the camera stand here. Um, for this one, this is only about uh, 5.6K, so well, 5K6, whichever you like to call it. And then uh, to pull the transistor normally low, I've added uh, 180K, a very high value uh, resistor to ground which would normally pull the thing low if this is disconnected. So that's what prevents the short circuit between the emitter and collector here, if the oscillator stops and that's when this goes bang. Um, so I've uh, put a break here. So this is no longer a continuous line. Uh, and then we've got another transistor, uh, which will be the collector and emitter well, it's not going to be your formal drawing, but <laughs> this is your 2N3904 and your base here. Um, I did add a, a resistor there about 1.2K and at the moment this line is floating uh, the base of it. So uh, now at the moment when I turn it on nothing will happen uh, because the base will be pulled low by this. Um, this floats, uh, it might turn high, uh, it might not, but in, in my experience so far, it's just been low all the time. Um, uh, and I've had to actually manually turn this high to turn it on, and then it'll stay on because the ground is modulated, and I assume that's messing around with it because it's running. If I switch it low, it doesn't turn it off right now, and I assume that's also because the ground is modulated, uh, so it's uh, either turning it on and off very rapidly with the base of this transistor, once you turn it on, or it's just never low enough to, to pull the transistor back low again uh, to turn it off. So I'm gonna try uh, cleaning up a supply with uh, filters and uh, see if I can actually make a microcontroller uh, turn this transistor on and off rather than the way I was going before which was putting another power transistor behind this whole uh, negative supply and turning the whole circuit on and off with a, a just as powerful transistor. The aim here was to use something much lighter uh, to be able to control the thing that doesn't get hot so you've only got one big heat sink with one big uh, chip on it. Well actually it'll have a 7805 regulator for the microcontroller which will get hot so there will already be two big heat sinks in the finished circuit um, so I didn't really want three. Bear in mind this just ends up being a resistor divider. Uh, the 180k resistor here would normally pull the base of the transistor low. Um, the 5.6k is normally holding it high. If we disconnect here then of course the base is going to be held low and the transistor can never turn on and pop. At the moment, this one has powered uh, 36 volts of uh, 3 by 12 volt SLA batteries behind it. Uh, and I've only adjusted the circuit, um, put the uh, 2N3904 in between uh, the base of the, the main transistor, the MJE3055T, um, so it can switch the base in and out. Uh, and I've just left the base of the, the 2N3904 floating. So it is actually powered at the moment but it won't turn on until I, oops, touch that. <laughs> now it's on um, and I've just got a little RF burn there. Um, the interesting thing about it is uh, it'll turn off on its own like that <laughs> without hurting me. It just, um, I'll try that again because I touched what I shouldn't have, I think. Okay, so it's on. I can even touch this. Goodbye. And uh, that's the point the transistor would normally pop uh, because uh, in your, your normal slayer exciter circuit there's nothing, um, you've got a resistor holding the transistor base high um, but there's nothing to pull it low if the ground's not being modulated. Yeah, goodbye oscillator and the transistor's left high and it'll burn. Um, but that's not happening here, it's actually turned off and getting pulled low. So you can actually leave it like that and you'd have a, a soft switch. Um, so I'll try that again. Boom. Okay, works. I'll get a little bit of a spark to my finger, so I'll let you see it, but um, not for long. And it's gone. <laughs>